Yo up guys, Mr. Garcia, back from MBR Starcast, back with some more Live League Legends gameplay for you guys today. Today we're going to be playing as Viger in the mid lane. Um, I haven't actually even checked the team, uh, there's a lot of AP on my team. Um, the game loaded in so quickly, I didn't get a chance to have a look. So, um, mm, How do I go for double fairy charm start? I'm quite a fan of the double fairy charm. A Viger, he I've always found him when I've ever I played him in the past to be very kind of mana hungry because you want to be farming up your Q and it costs a lot of mana and then you want to do abilities to them you know it starts uh, it starts costing them. what's minus five mean what does minus five don't know what that means um but we'll see what we're up to uh, look at things I haven't actually quickly looked for their team but they seem to have a lot of AP on their team. Um, we don't really have any tank to be honest, we're quite a more burst team. Um, sort of sit back, nearly pipes from the spears, I try and pick them off with my ultimate. Jax jumps on them and then you got Vayne, you know, Vayne and Jax are just hybrid champions who can just carry the game on their own if they get fit. Uh, but Ash, Annie, Kasten and Shogaf rise. Yo, Shogaf, so Kasten, Annie and Ash, in, in theory come sort of 20 to 30 minutes, I'll be able to one shot them with my ultimate, or well, at least my combo anyway. Shogaf and Rise. Shogaf is easy, obviously. Rise kind of just has mana, so. Um, but still. Uh, um, we'll see. I hope when, I've already had so many AFK people over the last couple of days, and. Uh, I couldn't stand to have another one. Those little bitches. Um, so, I, I've never really been a massive player of Viger. I used to play him a little bit, actually, saying that in Season 2. I, I like the idea of him, the fact that your ultimate's pretty cool, and the fact that he's like Nasus. His Q isn't as strong as Nasus because it doesn't farm up as quickly, but, you know, it still does tons of damage, and that's what we like to see. Um, so, I'm, my main interest is can we get some cooldown and just farming that up, really. I don't really look for early game uh, damage as cast um, as Viger because you don't really have that potential to be honest. You're all about uh, those last hits. You're all about getting to level six and then being like, "Yo, motherfucker, here's my ultimate," and you're just about to get one shot. Like, like Cassidin, you know, Cassidin doesn't have an early uh, game anyway, really, to be honest. So it's going to probably be a pretty slow start between us unless any jungler tries to. Uh, get involved right at the start, but like I said, I'm, all I'm interested in is farming up my Q, like I would do on Nasus, and it's a bit harder to like, because I think you have a bit more mana, especially if you're trying to do moves and stuff. Kasten's playing it quite well, he's sitting in a quite a nice position where he can just kind of silence me if I try and get to any minions, just like that, and it just keeps chunking down my HP a bit by bit, which is, you know, it's nice for him to kind of keep doing that. I've missed, uh, ah, oh, days. Missed too many CS already, which I shouldn't have missed. We have to get that big on. That is my golden mission today. And we're not going to get it because of uh, Shogas' guest appearance. Um, unfortunately, uh, nice timing by Shoga. It really screwed me over. I really wanted that big one, but there we go. Uh, such as like it was even it was either getting like 40 gold or dying to Shogas. So. Oh, I'm so I could actually die here to be honest. Or oh, Cass or oh. <laughs> uh, Jack should get the kill. I actually didn't land my stun. Had I landed my stun, then uh, it would have probably been a lot. I probably wouldn't have took as much damage as what I did because he would have instantly been stunned, and then Jax would have stunned him, and it would have just been like insta kill. So I probably wouldn't have had to have flashed. I, I just missed my stun, or I was trying to catch him in it, and he played it clever by not walking into it. Um, maybe next time I need to be a bit more aggressive with it. But that's what you want to do to cast him before he hits level 6, you know, is trying to shut him down like that. Because once he hits level 6, he's going to be able to move around quite easily. But again, the potential might E to stun him, and Jax getting in so quickly with his stun, you know, even at level 6, he's going to be quite easy to smash down, especially when I have my ultimate. So, uh, nice start, you know, it'd be nice to have got the kill myself, but, you know, uh, you can't get everything, uh, and I wasn't, I was never going to be there to secure that kill anyway, so, um, I'm happy with that result, couldn't really ask for anything more. Uh, we got a ward to stop Sugar, Nidley in the top against Ryan, that's quite an interesting matchup. Should have really queued that minion. I went to queue Kasten when I shouldn't have really tried to do that. I should just be interested in farming. <laughs> Q's not going up too well at the moment, to be honest. Stuck in 
At the moment, we like we're really kind of open to a gank by uh, Shoga. Oh, what's going on? Nothing. I thought if he was coming down here, we might be able to trap. Kassanen should be out farming us, which he is. Uh, which doesn't surprise me. You know, my uh, my key, my last hits suck at the moment. I really do suck. Uh. They really do suck. We'll try and see if we can bait anything out here. Again, I didn't land my stun, but uh, that's what I mean. The potential, if I actually did land my stun, is just uh, super high. But the fact that I haven't landed it, oh, I'm going to miss the big... Oh, I did actually get... Um, I'll have my ult though. So it should be, uh, it shouldn't really be much of a problem. My Q's kind of farmed up slowly. Not massively, but. <laughs> as you can see, it's not, it's not going my way. Um, so it's just going to write, I don't know, what is it, 16? <laughs> Nothing special. Um, at least we have our ultimate now, which is the main thing. Yeah, it's what, like 300 plus 80 percent of his ability. So the stronger he gets, the stronger I'm gonna get. Um, I'm gonna go for a chalice as well. It's quite greedy, to be honest, by me. Uh, it's very kind of slows down my all-time damage. But the fact I'm just interested in just farming up, and I can poke him a bit more with this, and having my ultimate. The fact that my ultimate does plus 80 percent of the ability power is just OP. So. Uh, makes my life a lot easier. How's our vein? Uh, 35 to 40. So vein's out farming ash, which is nice to see. Uh, I think, uh, Kasten's gone to get his blue. So, oh my god, <laughs> no luck whatsoever. I think Nilly wants it. Maybe not. So we get blue buff. We need to lose a bit of minions here, but uh, we get blue, which is nice to have. My flipping file sucks. It's probably how I just woken up. Oh, I'm not used to <laughs> playing Vyga. I don't know. It's not going. Either way, it's not going very well. <sighs> I was just over overestimating the damage I did at the moment, really. Good job to uh, Nidney in that top lane. It's nice to see. Kasten's just Q damage alone. It's just jokes. And he scares me because he could quite easily just jump on me, I feel, and just like instantly uh, one shot my ass. need to do that though. <laughs> I probably didn't have to actually flash him. I wasn't sure if he was going to um, get or not. I put my ultimate off as well and I didn't even get the kill so it's probably even a bigger waste of what it actually uh, was and I probably shouldn't have really flashed. Because I'm going to have that down now so there's a potential you know when Kassan and Rick walks that he would just easily blow me up. But I tried you know you got to try and make the plays happen. Um, if he gets Jax a kill and like I said earlier if Jax gets fed then it's GG. So I probably should have just left him to it but um, I wanted to make sure that we secured it. Obviously, my ultimate's now down, so it's a bit of a, a little bit of a bummer. But um, there we go. Yeah, such is life. We go take. Oh, Nidley. 
we take our roof camp and then we're back and uh, take the high life from there. Just it takes to just say so fed now. Just worried the fact that uh, I didn't even get that fucking my Q sucks. That Cassin's gonna do that right there. Uh, he held off. Oh no, he picked up a kill. Oh, I did tell them. You were gonna come get their asses. Oh yeah, pen boots now. It make us a little bit faster against Cassin. The quicker I can move. <laughs> Happy I feel. So, uh, so it's alright, you know, we haven't died, you know, we got a kill, two assists. CS is pretty poor, we've actually overtaken Kassadin, but that's what, you know, in theory I should be out farming Kassadin anyway, but my last hits have been pretty poor. And the last two games, my brand game, which I did yesterday, uh, well, it probably won't be uploaded in that time frame, but that was poor as well. My last hits are starting to desert me. Viger is one evil motherfucker. Ah, damage. I just kind of done it just to be like, yo, motherfucker, this is what I can kind of do to you. And then Jax is just like, yeah, this is what I can do to you. <laughs> so it kind of actually paid off. It just means, you know, um,. As much as I'm not getting any kills here, it is really feeding Jax up. And to be honest, I don't really need need massive amounts of kills because the fact that I'm Viger and I just farm up my Q and I have my ultimate, that's just going to be able to like one shot someone eventually. Uh, if I was getting kills, you know, it would it would be uh, speeding up the whole process a little bit, but it's not really uh, that important. I'm probably going to die to this wall here. There's quite a potential that he could kill me. Um, so our Q is now 42. Still nothing special because we just keep going out our lane. We haven't really held our lane too well, to be honest. But we've got... Uh, yeah, Jax has camped my lane hard. And it's fed him so hard. You know, he's 6-0 now. Cast has 5 deaths. So I've only got 1 kill. So Jax has got 4 now. <laughs> Uh, Vayne's even got, is that her first kill now? So Vayne's now on the board. Uh, she's out farming Ash, so, you know, GG. Nidley, I think, is doing alright. She hasn't, well, no one, has anyone died? Who died? Nami died. Different feeder. Um. Oh. Not see that coming. Help, make sure they can get dragon. They don't want to get stolen in the way or anything. Let's see uh, him possibly going and killing Nidhi. She's really <laughs> pushing hard. As I said, she's pushing so hard. What she expects to happen, and she pushes so hard without any wards. Yes. <laughs> an idiot. She's only herself to blame for pushing so hard. I don't know what she expects. Flip in silence. Silence was OP. Oh my god. She bought a ward this time.
still hasn't even bought a ward, so she starts in for trouble again when she pushes that hard. At least she thinks she'd learn her lesson by a ward, but she doesn't. As much as she wants to blame me, it's her own fault for losing her flawless game. I can't be in control. Kasten does what he does. Kasten is a Roman champion. If you push that hard, you're going to get your ass handed to you by him. There's no question about it. 100%. That's what will happen. We actually are almost. Almost. I can't believe I wasted my ignite and cast. And I was so I, I that silence just lasted forever. That was the, the, the biggest problem. That, that whole whole situation is how long that silence lasts for. I just can't. I can't re. I cannot react to that silence because it just lasts for so long. I don't have chance to actually uh, get my stun off like now. Didn't even get to do a move during that whole thing because of how long that flipping silence lasted for. It's just jokes. It's one badass silence. Almost. We scared them off anyway. We haven't actually killed anyone at all yet. At least we get mid tower, everyone kind of grouped out, which is nice. You don't see many teams like this actually kind of group up and make these plays. Um, uh, CS wise, we're out farming Kassim quite a bit. Uh, CS is still pretty poor though, but we are out farming them. I finally got an assist. <laughs> Those OP stuns. If that killed him, that would have been too funny. If it does any damage, right? There we go, at least we got a nice amount of gold sitting behind us now. We complete our Affians. Be nice. Like w one shots minions, which is cool. Can you stun him? Does he get stunned? Or is he just like OP to stuns? Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, Lane is crazy. If we catch someone though, we would blow them, uh, blow them up. It's just a case of catching someone out. Good thing I did check that I had a feeling they might be waiting in this rush to do the same thing. Again. Where they are, if we're walking through a ward, you know, I saw, I saw the kind of problem that Ash kind of backed it, it was like we were walking on a ward, so. They could well no. The thing is, they could then set like a trap to like kind of corner us and, and they catch us out and it's. Laid easy for us up. You see, what to reward there. There's not really much we can do at the moment. We just kind of. Our lane's just too far push. We're just waiting around to try and catch someone out, make something happen. Still don't want to get jumped on by Kasten for that exact fucking reason. He just that silence. He he's gonna get to the point where he's gonna be able to one shot me. I think without me actually having to do the move, just purely because of how long that silence lasts. Or so in theory, I have to be ready for him to do that. I have to act quicker before he can. Um, I think that's the only way we're gonna be able to do it. Is I'm gonna have to be able to land my stun before he jumps on top and silences me. But I'm gonna have to do it so quick because. 
Ah, oh, they surrendered anyway. That doesn't really matter. Um, um, uh, I think Jack's kind of one of Jack's camp mid lane hard. Really made my life so easy against Cass and that. Really, it was a lot down to Jack's as work, but we couldn't really do too much because Jack's picked up all the kills. So. And a good job to Jack, you know, he done what he had to do, he shut down Kasten really hard. I think he only got one kill where he killed Nidhi up in the top lane. Um, and that was that. But yeah, it was a good job to Jax. You know, he, he did what he had to do, he saw where his saw where a weak target was. I mean he, you know, as a juggler that's what you gotta do, you gotta get fed, or if you can get fed and uh, it was at my expense he was gonna get fed, but you know, I didn't mind because he was able to make it like use the most out of it. And Jax when he gets those kills in the jungle he can just roam around so quickly and he just jumps in the lane and smashes people in the face. So you see what he's doing to Kassen. So we didn't really get to use the true use of Vigo. I don't think we killed any more ult or really got to use our Q. You know, didn't even get to mid game stage, it just ended lane and phase. <laughs> so there we go. Um leave a less. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take easy have a good day. Peace.